This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an Abus Submariner Model 83 WPIB 53. As the name suggests, it's a lock intended to survive in marine environments. That's accomplished by using a corrosion resistant brass lock body, which was then chrome plated and then covered in plastic. They also used a stainless steel shackle, which won't be quite as cut resistant as Abus's usual fare, but like the rest of the lock, it won't rust. Now, because this is one of Abus's 83 series locks, it takes a standardized core that's available in several common keyways. They do that so this can be keyed alike with your home or business. This one came with a Schlage SC1 core, which is probably the most common residential keyway in the US. That makes this lock an obvious choice for something like a garden shed or any other low security outdoor application. Now, I have picked and gutted several 83 series cores on this channel before. They do have security pins, but it's nothing a competent picker can't handle. The only thing I'm going to do differently this time is pick it with a leashy tool since so many of you have told me that the tool helps you visualize what I'm doing. As always, this tool is available over on covertinstruments.com if you want to give it a try. Okay, I'm using this tab to tension the core. And we'll start on pin one. Little click there. Nothing on two. Three is binding. Little click out of three. Four is binding tightly. Little click there. Nothing on five. Yeah. Little click out of one. Nothing on two. Three. Little click there, and we just dropped into a false set. Nothing on four. Five is binding tightly. Little counter rotation. And we got this open. Okay, let's take this apart, and I will show you the pins inside. To get the core out, we need to remove a small screw down the shackle hole. That allows the core to drop out of the bottom. Then I'm going to get my pinning tray. The next step is to remove the small C-clip on the bottom. Then we can take this brass tail piece out. Okay, now we'll need to turn the core just a little bit. And to do that, I need to press this brass detent down. Now the core should slide out and we'll use a follower to make sure we don't lose any pins. Okay, let's first drop these key pins out. Standard pin in one, same in two, three, four, and five. Note this is a six pin core. It just happened to come pinned with five from the factory. But if you did want to use an SC4 blank, which is the slightly longer version of this key, you could turn it into a six pin lock. Moving to the driver pins, we have a lightly serrated pin in slot one, a spool in slot two, Another spool in slot three. Same in four. And same in slot five. Okay, let's zoom in on these just a little bit. Okay, folks, that's all I have for you today on this Abus Submariner Model 83 WPIB 53. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.